I personally think that we should name who the shooter is. I think that, you know, we, um, that's part of what we, what we do as journalists. You know, we, we, if we start to self-censor ourselves on this, then as we start to get down the road and there's something else that people don't like, you know, should we not name the person who was involved in the hit and run accident? Should we not name the person who was involved in, you know, who was, you know, the things that make us uncomfortable? And I, I think that, you know, this was a person who did something heinous. And I agree that, you know, we should um, not overstate, you know, what they've done and give other people sort of this idea of, you know, wow, he went out in a blaze of glory and, you know, and I want to be famous like that guy. I agree that we need to be sensitive to that. But I think that when we start to, to censor ourselves in that regard, that, you know, the, the reality starts to become, you know, we start to start to lose sense of the reality of what's happening. I don't think we, I don't think we necessarily, I said this earlier, I don't think we necessarily, you know, um, delve enough into, you know, why these things are happening and how they're happening. And I think that trying to get to the psychology of what makes somebody do these kinds of things, I think is important to do. And to understand their background and what tipped them off may help other people see other people in society who have these same sort of characteristics and that that ultimately at the end of the day yes you might not like the fact that we're naming this person or telling his story but you might see that person in somebody else